Welcome to People to People. We're happy to be with, back with you this week. I'm your host, Micah Mater. Some of the most inspirational stories are found in everyday people who've made choices to do and to be better. Joining us today is Cheryl Thomas, one of a, an esteemed group of Chicago area McDonald's employees to receive the Ray Kroc Award, named after the restaurant's founder. Welcome, Cheryl. Hi. Congratulations. How are you? First of all, because not everybody gets this award. Tell me who gets this the Ray Kroc Award. Um, it's the top one percent restaurant managers in the stores mm -hmm. um, in the country, actually. How in the world do you get that? How? Are, what have you done <sighs> to receive this uh, um, top award? You know award? what? You work hard and you take pride in what you do, and you know, never in a million years that I think that I would get this award, but you know, I went in to work and made my goals and took my job seriously and I was able to accomplish it. When did you so. start working for McDonald's? Ah, 1994. What, what did you do when you first started there? You know what? I was a crew person. I started off as a crew person. I, I was a teenager. I graduated from high school. I had no real path of where mm -hmm. I was going. I didn't know if I was going to go to college, go work, and I went to McDonald's and it's, it's, it, it History's was, been it, made. Yeah. It's been made. Give me an idea. You've pretty much gone up through the ranks, yes, right? Yes, I have. Yes, yeah. I have. So I started off as a crew person, and um, I worked for um, an owner-operator who came to me personally and said, oh, would you like to be a crew trainer, which was the next level? Mm -hmm. And um, she saw something in me that I didn't even know I had in myself. And I'm like, wow, this is great. And it was just so much structure there, very family-oriented, and it was just such a great opportunity. Um, and I just took it and just ran with it. This is kind of like, you know, people who start at McDonald's, maybe mm -hmm. flipping burgers or something like yep. that, said, this is about all I'm going to do. Yeah. Do you ever think that? And You know what? I, when I first started there, you know, I didn't think of, I know they say McDonald's is a dead end job. I hear it all the time. Um, and when I saw, once I was actually physically there in the restaurant, it's so much different. It's, it's a family oriented place. It's a business. It's a big business. And um, whether you flipping burgers or you managing mm -hmm. the place, it's a good place to work for. Um, I never thought that it would be a career for me, but as I start seeing that I was really good at it. Um, I don't know, it's just, I feel like I was put here to do that job because I'm good with people and managing and you know leading people, so it just actually worked out for me. Kind of opened up your mind though too, and I think it has to do with the person yeah, themselves. A lot of does. people will make it a dead end oh, job. Oh wow, they But will. I don't think you thought that, did no, you? No, I didn't think that at all. Mm -hmm. I just felt like, wow, I'm, I'm pretty good at this. So I just stuck to it. I mean, a lot of times people kind of give up on stuff or they listen to what other people say. And I've heard from so many people saying, oh, you work McDonald's. Oh, what do you do, flip burgers? You know, made, I've been made fun of, but you know what? I love my job and I wouldn't change anything. The company is, it's a great company to work for. You know, there's been a lot of controversy over minimum wage lately and yes, people talking about has. that. What do you say about that? You know, I, I can't really speak to that um, because people are going to feel the way they feel about what people should make. And I just, you know, hopefully they resolve it. Um, and that's all I can really say about because that situation. Because you found a lot of, you know, I'm, you're not making minimum wage, of course. Oh, not of anymore. Course I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> You've but, you moved know, on. I've made minimum wage in my life, and I knew that if I didn't want to make minimum wage, that I had to grow and do more, and I did more. And, I mean, sometimes people feel like, you know, you can go in and do the minimum work, and you're going to make the maximum money, and that's not what it's all about. you got to work hard to get any any place anything you doing like you got to work hard what do you say to people who are there and you know they they how do you inspire them because you are a great inspiration you know what i just like to i like to let people know my story um i see people i'm in a um, position to help people so when i do see people that don't really know where they're going i kind of tell them my story and i'm not saying that i try to make everybody a mcdonald's manager because it's not for everybody right. but what i do try to let people know is it's opportunity here and if you're willing to work hard and, and yeah stick to it, then you can, you can make something out of it. In the beginning, we said a lot of people had written you off. Yeah. Tell a lot of people, that. you know, when I was younger, like I said, I was not on the right path all the time. And uh, my mom did the best she could do. And I kind of, um, you know, got off path a lot. And people just was like, you know, she's going to end up this way. You know, people always have a perception. Right. Of they what label they, you. Yeah, they label mm -hmm. you what they think you're going to be and how you're going to turn out, especially when I started working at McDonald's and I'd be walking down the street with my uniform on and people would be looking at me like, yeah, that's it for her. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, it was sad. It was a sad time in my life. And many times I wanted to give up because what other people said about me mm -hmm. or thought about me, but I didn't. And 
Look at me now. So you have to find it from inside, don't you? You have to find it from inside. And quickly, tell me what you got with your Ray Kroc Awards. Pretty, pretty prestigious. Oh wow, yeah. I got a. <laughs> I think it's. A, I got a five thousand dollar bonus, which was huge. Wow. I got a beautiful ring, a pin, a jacket. Um, we had a, a huge ceremony. I felt like a like I was winning an Oscar. So it was great. It was nice to be in that situation and know that all my hard work paid off and. I wouldn't, if I could do it all over again, I would because it was one of the best times. The of same my life. way, you'd do it the same way? I would again? do it the same way. So, when are you going to own a McDonald's? Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope so. You know, you know, I don't know if that's what I want to do. You uh -huh. know, I'm more, um, in my position right now, I can touch so many people, and that's what I like to do. I like mm -hmm. to, I like the people aspect of the job, and I really like being in a position to help some of the younger people. Um, I work for uh, O'Keefe organization and they give me so much space to kind of just do what I do mm -hmm. and they step back and they, they, they let me be free and you know sometimes I hire people and my boss is like why did you hire you know because <laughs> you this? see something because yeah, I person. see something in yeah. them and they know now and they trust me and say you know what Cheryl she was she was on with that that's and great. I'm in I'm in a position where I can do that help people and that's the part of the job that I like McDonald's has found a gym in you Cheryl yes. thank you so much thank you and congratulations all right thank you so I much appreciate it